the problem with the bill, as I see it, or the whole premise of a, uh, the minimum wage, especially for businesses that uh, are very concerned about every penny, uh, so you are leaving people behind when government interferes and increases minimum wage. The businesses are left behind. The mom and pop businesses aren't able to necessarily hire the, the quantity of employees perhaps they need and or they're increasing the prices. So as inflation rises with uh, minimum wage, it's encyclical. So you get a little pennies will increase in your minimum wage, so too dimes and nickels will increase in the cost of the goods. So you'll never get ahead. So it's like a gerbil on the treadmill. As government continues to interfere and mandate uh, and try to, try to put a, a kink into the free market system, it interferes in it and causes all things to raise the cost. So there's never a, a level that you can really catch up. Um, for those businesses that are paying minimum wage, I, I don't know which ones are. I'd like to see that data. I think that'd be important data and see what kind of folks are entering that field. Uh, usually they're young adults, teenagers starting out. We've done so much greatness in the state of Minnesota to help lift people up by their bootstraps and bring them out of poverty to increase their education. We're giving free and uh, colleges to certain uh, folks that are, what is it, eighty? thousand dollars and less. We've worked so hard to lift people out of poverty and to increase and improve the quality of their life that uh, it diminishes the uh, it diminishes them in the beginning when they're starting at a lower wage and trying to work their way up to improve their quality of life. Uh, the, the statistics, Representative Kozowski, just don't show that minimum wage uh, and especially for small employees is really necessary because of the free market is already pushing that. Uh, again, I don't know one employee in my right county that pays a minimum wage. And if they did, they're probably uh, not having any workers come to their door.